Hi everyone, this is Tracy from We Craft at Home and this is the second part to the video I done last Thursday for actually designing the SVG. So this is actually putting the house together. I'm sorry I had to split it, but there was so much I wanted to put on there. I just I didn't want to miss anything out, so I split the video. Um, if you're just joining us because you didn't want to do the SVG part, welcome. So as you can see, <coughs> excuse me, I have cut everything out and I've cut some extra bits out for myself as well. So I've cut this out, the windows as you can see they open and I've folded in so it's like a concertina. So mountain, valley, mountain. And both sides of that so that it will go on like this and we can have it jumped up and then when we're um, posting it it will go flat so I've done that I've done a Christmas tree because I'm going to do um, looking in through the window so I've done a little fireplace scene I got this off um, line it was a free it was a free file um, I went on Google, put fireplace, and this is the one I liked. So I can't remember where I got it from now. Cutting something. Anyway, so I've got an 8x8 card, and I've put this paper on it so that it looks like wallpaper. I thought, mm, okay, maybe that will do. Um, actually, I know someone with similar wallpaper, that's why I put that together and now it's up to you if you want to do it so that the fireplace is sitting with carpet down so it's not the wallpaper I was thinking about this and my velvet sheets will look like a carpet I think I don't know if white will work. I've got brown. Should we try brown? Maybe a dark carpet. There we go. I think that'll be better. So what we want to do first, um, I've put acetate on the back of the windows. Can you see? I've made a bit of a mess of it, so be careful because the glue does stain the acetate. Um, <laughs> And then we need to know where we are positioning the fireplace. So if you put that over and know that is where that's going to go, you kind of, I think I'll go a bit lower actually. And then what I'm going to do is just move it over a little bit. And then the Christmas tree will go there. And I'm going to bring that up a little bit. Let's see what that looks like. And say so we've got carpet there. Yeah, and then you can see you see more of the fireplace. So I'm going to move that over a little bit. Let's try that. That's it. So it looks like a Christmas scene inside. Um, I have got decorations as well, so I'm not sure though if I want to put it on the inside or outside. I've got lights to go across the window on the outside. Um, I'm sure you've got plenty of ideas for decorations, I'm just trying to go with it. So I think I am going to use that and stick it there okay so I will leave a link for my velvet if any of you want to give it a go it's beautiful stuff it's paper backed it's not sticky back though I'm going to put the glue on the card um, but it, it's lovely it die cuts it cuts on the scan and cut it um, it embosses 
and no matter how creased up you get it you know look I can crease this up but when I lay it down it goes completely straight again it's really really good stuff See if I can show you just how velvety it is. It, it's proper velvety feel. Can you see? There we go. You see? Okay, I'm going to stick the fireplace flat down. And then this I'm going to put Actually, do you know, I'm going to use pin flare I think it's uh, going to work a bit better You can mould it a bit better with pin flare. And I know that means you've got to wait for it to dry, but... Give it a round effect. So I'm going to put some stones on this, but um, look like baubles. I've just thought of something. I didn't do the bucket. It's got to have a bucket, hasn't it? So I'll just make sure it's on. And then I'll get a red piece of paper. Okay, I haven't really taken my time with this, so apologies for that. I just because I'd forgotten about it. Let's see if that will be okay. Oh, there we go. That's perfect. That will do. That will do. I'm gonna have to use the pin flare because it's got to come out. Oh no, the tree should come out. sitting on the carpet don't we? Like that. That's it and then we'll do them just tucked under like that. There we go. That looks a bit better. Okay, so that's the inside so far. I'm not sure what I'm doing with the um, decorations I've done, if I'm putting them inside or out. So I'm going to leave that for the time being and let the Christmas tree take. I'm just going to cut 
cut off the excess velvet. Like I said, I'll leave a thing for this and I'll tell you what I'll also do. I'll give you a code where I'll give you some money off as well if you get it when I send the email. Or when the video comes out, apologies. Okay, so I'm going to put that to the side and we're going to work on this now. So we've got all the framing and everything that we need. Um... I'm not convinced about the colour of this now. It was meant to be more brown, but I think it's more maroony colour. Okay, so I'm just going to glue round it. I don't think we need to have too much um, stuff on pads and things. There we go, there's the frame to that. thing is, I need to put that down, because that goes on top of it. So is that right? If I put this first... I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll stick that onto this. So we'll go around this with a very fine line because it only just goes on top. Don't overdo it with the glue. And then we will just stick all of this. Okay. So that's the main cutting out that we've done apart from the actual bricks that will go on here. So with the main frame done, it's all about decorating the front, but I'm not sure whether it's going to be easier to put that on first before we decorate it. or. Let's decorate it first, actually. I just don't want these getting in the way. and Yeah, we'll decorate it first, I think. That's coming along nicely. 
So, like I said, I've got some lights and I want to put them across there like that. And then I've got loads of this that I showed you how to make in the SVGs. And I'm just going to put them, I might not do them all, but I'm just going to put them coming down from the um, top of the card like they're coming down the house. Ivy probably would have been better. I did have some ivy, but I don't think it's the right size. It doesn't look right, because this is meant to be a window, not a whole house. So it just didn't fit well for me. So, anyway. We need some snow, obviously. Oh, and the windowsill. Don't forget the windowsill. So, if you saw the video, you'd see that it was. this is literally just a triangle with a couple of um, score lines. And I'll show you what I wanted to do. I wanted it to be like that. So, so it's like that. And then when you fold it down, it will still fold flat once we've glued it on. So let's do that next and then I'll um, I knew that was going to happen that uh, lid wasn't shut properly got my little safety pin that I used to unclog the glues so If you prefer tape and stuff you can do that I just I prefer the glue because it gives you a bit of movement okay oh. what did I do there pushed it too hard wait for that to take for a minute so the idea is that we can have snow dripping down taken and then I've got this Merry Christmas now what I've I had an alphabet it's called Christmas Chris I can't remember Christmas tree I think no 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 but what it is is um, baubles and they spell out well for me they spell out Merry Christmas but obviously it's whatever you you want it to be. So, what I was thinking was doing a chain of them. When I think about it now, it probably would have been easier to do to do a a thing on the actual um, scan and cut and melt, uh, weld them together. But um, what I was thinking was using a peel-off and sticking them all to the peel-off. So I just wrote the actual letters on and then made the out outside the... Um, the cutting line there we go so I was thinking if I got a nice peel off and then I'm not sure whether to do it on the inside across the wall so it looks like a decoration you got on the wall or the outside I want to do it on the inside um, but I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it I 
don't think there's enough room on the top of the window for you to be able to see it if you see. Okay, let's put what's got to go on here, on here. So I definitely want the lights and I want them hanging there. Because if I put them up there, it, the greenery is going to hide it. And you do do it across the lights, any, uh, yeah, across the window, sorry. So I'm just going to put glue, I'm not going to put it all over, mainly the two ends. And then a little bit in the middle as well, just to hold it down. The top line only. Let's see if that works. Okay, so I've done them all one colour because that's what I would have at my house. <laughs> I like the just the white lights. There. so that's the lights and then if we have all these hanging down even if you have to break some bits off it's okay isn't it it's um, there I knew we had longer bits I want longer bits on each outside so you're just going to play around with this while you're trying to find how you you know how much you want how you want it on there um so that's the idea so uh, I don't know if you can make sense now of what I was trying to do and then I've got some white pearls to use as little white berries over that um, and then I have the Pin Flare Snow. I don't know if any of you have seen it. So it's called uh, Snow It. It says it's snow effect paste. I've got to be honest, it's practically um, texture paste. But we can just start covering everything with snow. Or you can use glitter or the fake snow. There's so much you can use for snow, so anyway, I think what I'm going to do I'm going to put the Merry Christmas inside because I think you can look over the top of it like this and be able to see it because I don't think it will fit right outside unless I put it on the windowsill Yeah, I'm going to do that. Didn't think of that. So I'm going to do the... Do them all with the little dots. So I will speed this bit up where I'm putting all the pads on and sticking it down there we go so we've got Merry Christmas and then just quickly We'll just do um, we'll just do a thin peel off that joins them up. Okay, 
Okay, now before we go any further, I think what I'll do is stick it on now to the main card. So, uh, I'm going to use red tape and glue for this, just to make sure I get it down properly. Well, not red tape. It is, it's still extra strong tape, but it's uh, a different mate. I do like this one. It hasn't got the thickness that um, the red tape has. And it doesn't get stuck all over the place when you take it off. of you getting your Christmas prep done might as well while we're stuck at home wanting to do some crafting that's what I figured okay so we'll start doing one side because if you do it together you're gonna get the dip you know when you go like that you see the dip we don't want that so, and don't get confused because she puts everything in the same bottle. Even the stencil glue for the mats is in the same bottle. So that's the snow one. I just, if I use the glue, it gives me a little bit of movement if I need it. That's all. Okay, so this side first. And then for this side, what I want to do is pull it tight to make sure that it won't just um, dip in the middle because it kind of ruins the effect. If I can get the tape off. pairs of hands for this. Got a leaf stuck in there. <laughs> You'll see the shape of the card coming together. Okay, so that's what we've got so far. I probably have to muck around with that. Um, peel off again a bit more but oh yeah I'll just show you that um, when you go to put it in the envelope this will go down and fold flat as well just show you a bit better there you go see that's how I've done it so the only thing that's really up on this card is the Christmas tree that's the only thing oh and the actual Merry Christmas I will sort that peel off out in a minute because now we need to do some leaves. So I want to start off by using my really long, I've done all different sizes. 
No, I don't want the curly ones. Okay, so. This one I'm going to stick everywhere because it's on the edge. So, this one I want right from the top. And stuck right down. Love to see your ideas. Please put pictures either on the Facebook page or, you know, under the comments. Okay, I think that's enough. So that's what we've got so far. Now I have got bricks to put inside here. If you saw the um, tutorial you'll see it but for some reason I cut them in white so they're not going to go I have to recut them in cream to fit them but that's the idea and then just put a couple of lines of uh, darker colour on it to make them look a bit dirty and that's your bricks on but yeah I have to cut it in cream I don't know why I cut it in white the rest of the uh, house is all creams and everything. So I have to do that. And then there's the snow. Oh, and if you've got pearls. Oh, I didn't decorate my Christmas tree. Right, okay, I'll see if I can sort that out after. So the pearls can look like white berries. You just them every now and then and I've got different sizes as well because I thought that would look more authentic Obviously I'll do a lot more afterwards, but you don't want to see me putting loads of gems on, you know how to do it. So it's just the snow now. Now, I've only had a little practice of this, okay, so I've never actually used it properly before. But I'm guessing we would have it... Okay, so I would do it... Let's see. So it's all collecting along the window. And then if you get the pokey tool, you can just Smooth it out like snow. Okay. I'm going to do a bit along here as well. Okay, so that's it so far. I 
starting to get there now, starting to look a bit more like Christmas. <laughs> and then I would just um, start blobbing it over the leaves a little bit. And um, there you have it. Tidy up the... Actually, the Christmas one is stuck. It's the Merry that's playing up. You can see we've got snow on the windowsill. We've got snow on the bricks, on the windows. So now it's just the mistletoe. And there we have it. Special Christmas card for that special someone. Your message can say whatever it likes, obviously. Maybe if you want to put some little snowflakes in the window or something like that. Any more decorations inside. Um, and then an insert. But there we go. I hope you enjoyed that. And I will be seeing you again next week. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.